Hello and welcome back. I know it's been about a month since I did a video. I know uh, I want to make changes to this channel as it's a lot of stuff's been going on that's not been totally great. I made this presentation a few days ago, it's the reason why it says June 9th, 2022 on it. So, I know I haven't done a Mac OS video in almost um, two years. This thing's last time was like June 2020. So, I would probably try to do Mac OS videos, but they'd be very rarely because of the EULA here. And Mac OS, you obviously have a Windows computer, I don't want to own a Mac. But I will try to simulate just like first story based videos and the. Also, I want to try older versions of the operating system. Obviously, I want to try doing more with Linux, as Linux we don't barely did much with. I know I only did a video on Ubuntu 20.04 back in 2020, so it's been about two years. I like to recreate like video games for like story-based videos. If I'm gonna make a CGI animated story-based video, game consoles, mobile operating systems. And websites, yes, websites, because, not because the, the internet archives way back machine, that's pretty good, but what if you want to see an older version of Google Docs, or a older version of uh, the online Microsoft Office, I also want to try out older Microsoft Windows Insider builds, but they're not that easy to find, so I'm just going to have to recreate them. So, I do have websites, if I can switch out of here, as completely forgot to bring it up, but bring it up here, it is for ever moments that GitHub, it's a GitHub website, when we load into it, it's basically just this nonsense here. I thought it was just cool, so I made it up. Um, though, I know what it is probably now. It's a DDoS protection. This thing, if we were to remove the slash home, is just something. It won't protect this website against a di distributed denial of service attack. But those features where it like, blocks you from accessing the website for five seconds is usually a DDoS protection. Um, as you can get around it, I know it's just something I thought was cool, so I just, you can always just bypass it by typing slash home on your web browser as it redirects to that. I also have the videos tab, but what I want to do is, because you see how off-center this is, and it's hard to get back to the home page, because you literally have to, like, hover your mouse, I don't know what's causing that, it's driving me nuts. I also have the Forever Moments archived, which... Allows you to see what the website used to look like. I'm not going to try snapshotting into the Wayback Machine, depending on how much work I do on this website. So I create my own little snapshots here, and you can see what the website looked like when I first launched it. When I added the videos tab, and when I corrected the site's information when I started doing videos again in June 2021. Though, I didn't realize that this, this is a typo, and it is on the actual website itself. So we just type that in, and yeah, it's just, yeah, there's a typo there, and I never saw it. Probably look at the archives, see how long it's been around here. 2021-2020-1 I used to play with a lot of Windows priorities and good god so I highly doubt if you were to put this into the Wayback Machine that anything would come out because I've never archived this website so we'll just go to the web.archive.org and brings up the Wayback Machine, which is press enter. And as you can tell, there are no snapshots. Even if we add the flash here. So I can technically save this URL. Save page. Saving. Um.
yeah, it's now archiving it. And, yep. <laughs> there we go. But now we can't access videos. Which, we can say also save this into the Internet Archive. If you have not, you can access this on the Webback machine, but it's just this one snapshot I just created today. Yikes. It's downloading elements. That's all the YouTube videos on this page, so. Yay. So now we can do that. You know, YouTube, hey, YouTube videos from YouTube. Just don't want to load. Yep. And then we can go up to. So, yeah, now that exists. I saved my own website into the Wayback Machine for no reason. And I even did it on camera. So, yeah, you can still access the actual archives from. As I feel like that's more reliable. Continuing back with the presentation. So what I want to do is just change it so that buttons are more clickable and they're not off-centered as you saw with that presentation there. I also want to add some JavaScripting features and things like that. And I cannot... What the? So, I want to try to create a Linux digital code to ROS. I've been reading up on like Linux from scratch and stuff. I want to manually create it. They all might try experimenting with different packages and things like that. And typically there will be some like uh, internal builds that will not be shared, but I will share them when the actual release is released. And there will be public builds as well, so people can test it out in real life. So that's what I want to try to do. And so, yeah. That is that. Thanks for watching. I guess we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.